Hello, I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to test your condenser capacitor that comes out of an old ignition coil for motorcycles, dirt bikes, ATVs, four wheelers, all that. And all you're going to need is the condenser, your multimeter, and your leads. And what we'll be doing is measuring the resistance, which will charge up the condenser capacitor, and we'll also be measuring the DC voltage. So the first thing you need to do is we'll set the multimeter to resistance. We'll set it to 200 M. So what you'll need is take your leads and you'll set the red one on the casing. You'll need to find a clean spot. You can see this one's rusted and I got a little bit of the rust out. So you'll set the red one on the casing and the next thing you'll do is take your black one and you'll set it to here. And what you should see when you set this on there is a slow climb up. And if you see your condenser has a pretty high resistance and it's just jumping around at the start, you probably got a bad condenser, but what you'll do is put your red lead on the case, take your black lead, and you'll put it on the end right here, and we should see a slow climb up. So you can see we're climbing up right now. And we'll let this charge up to about 35. So we'll go up to 35 and stop. So what you can do now is, so we the multimeter's charge it up, is you can set it to DC voltage. So we'll set it to DC voltage, we'll set it to 2000 m just to get more precision right here. And you'll be doing the same thing. What you should see here is a discharge, it will discharge faster, just that's how condensers are. So you'll see a fast discharge at the beginning and it should slow down at the end. And I'll show you another test you can do while it's discharging. So the same thing, stick your red lead, on the casing, you'll set your black one on the end. So we should see a slow or a pretty fast drop at the beginning. So as you can see, we're dropping right now. So this is technically discharging the capacitor. So what we'll do is stop at about 150 and we'll test how well this thing holds the charge. So we're at about 150, you can take it off. You can stop at any number you like. What you want to do is let it sit for a second. And this will allow you to see if it's holding a charge. So what we should see when we stick this black lead back on the end right here, we should see it around the same number. It might be higher just because your multimeter. But if you see it drop significantly in this time, then you know you probably got a bad condenser or it's not holding a charge. So what we'll do is stick this back on and it might be pretty high but it should be over 150. So you can see it was at about 230 and a fast drop back down to 150. So you can just let this discharge, keep on testing it. You can measure the res resistance again and charge it back up and keep on doing this to make sure you have a fine resistor or condenser. So as you can see to just the state of a, how a condenser reacts, it, you saw a fast discharge at the beginning and a slow discharge right at the end. That's just the tau number for capacitors. <clears throat> so you can see it slowed down a lot. So yeah, from this test, we can see that we probably have a good condenser right here. This can go back in the ignition coil and it'll probably work. You can cross this off the list for no spark for your dirt bike, motorcycle, ATV, or whatever you're testing. I mean, if you have any questions, you can just leave them down in the comments and I might be able to answer them.